Well, some would say that the giant bow wasn't sensible, but I would say that they were boring. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd do a really classic, old-fashioned Freddy video, perfect for these cosy evenings when you just want a chilled one. So today I'm gonna to show you guys what is new in my wardrobe for winter. I don't know about you guys, but I was feeling kind of nostalgic for like the old days when I was a teenager and me and my friends would go shopping and then we'd come home and like try everything on. And I kind of thought that this could be like that, like we're just friends hanging out. I'm gonna show you what I've bought recently, try it on for you. Um, and just have a chat. This video is kindly sponsored by one of my favorite brands, Abercrombie and & Fitch, because as you guys know, I have so many of their pieces in my wardrobe, especially in autumn winter, because their knits and their cozy stuff is just the best in the business. And for the first time ever, they've actually given me a discount code for you guys to use, which is the best news ever. So I will put that on the screen now. And don't forget, you can find everything that I show in today's video linked down below. I also just want to do my really quick little disclaimer because I haven't done one of these videos in a while. Um, this is kind of a lot of clothes to have new for like a season in someone's wardrobe. Um, it's not normal. I probably don't think it's positive to like buy this many new clothes, but I didn't actually buy most of them. As you guys know, uh, making fashion videos on YouTube is my full-time job. I work with lots of amazing brands, as you know, and I get also gifted a lot of clothes as well. So my collection is a lot bigger than I think is normal or necessary. And the reason I like to put that out there is because I hate for anyone to feel inadequate or like they don't have enough. And I also don't like getting told off for buying too many clothes. <laughs> okay, so now that's all cleared up, let's get on with the video. If you are new here today, then I would love it if you would join us and subscribe to my channel down below. And of course, come and follow me on Instagram to keep up with my day-to-day -day life. So I might as well show you um, the outfit that I am currently wearing first. Um, this is a head to toe Abercrombie look. I just feel like it's the perfect everyday kind of smart casual look for autumn winter. It's warm, it's cozy. It's like casual and low key, but it just looks put together and stylish. I am obsessed with this skirt. Honestly, you guys know I have a thing about like bottoms in autumn winter. I'm always on the hunt for like gorgeous ones. And this skirt is literally perfection. I obviously love the color. I'm always sticking to like a very neutral, light colored color palette in autumn winter with the exception of a nice dark brown. The fabric is amazing. It's like a wool, like a really soft, wool so it's very wintry it's high waist um, and it's kind of like fitted but it's not restricting you like i have a skirt like this that i love um that i never really wear because i just feel so like restrained in it and really uncomfortable but this i feel really comfortable in and um, if anyone's wondering i wear a small in abercrombie and like most of the clothes i love the little belt detail like the fake pockets it kind of just looks quite 60s which you guys know is my vibe and it's just amazing you can wear it with so many different tops blouses um, nice fitted turtlenecks or like chunky knits like this one um, and it's just gonna look gorgeous. And then this lovely white knit is also from Abercrombie. You guys know I just love a roll neck. I love a white chunky roll neck in winter. I also love it when um, jumpers have like a little split on the hem because it means you can tuck it in in the front and get that nice shape and nice look but you can leave it hanging at the back so it doesn't like all bunch in because sometimes tucking a jumper into a skirt can be really bulgy and really uncomfortable. So this is like the perfect solution. It looks really chic. I don't know if you guys can see, um, but I also really love like the cut on the jumper, like the way these um, like sleeve holes are really low down. I just think it gives a really nice shape to the body and like a really nice, elegant, expensive look. Obviously that's a really small detail, but I always notice these things because obviously I try so many clothes on for a living. It's also got a really nice like loose roll neck because I know some people can feel a little bit choked in a chunky roll neck when it's like really tight around the neck. So this one is really just perfect. And again, like the skirt, you can just wear this with everything, like trousers, jeans, skirts, and they also have it in lots of colors as well. So next, I feel like we should talk about a couple of jackets because as you can see, there are a lot of jackets on this rail. I'll start with my Chloe cape. Now I'm sure you guys will have seen 
seen this all over my Instagram stories. Um, this was a piece I included in my Autumn Luxury Essentials video. And I don't know if you guys know this, um, I'm sure you do, but I don't actually keep everything I show you in my videos. Not because I don't love them, because I love everything I show or I wouldn't show it, but you can't keep everything just because you love it. I don't have the space, um, it's a waste of money. Um, so I end up sending quite a lot of things back um, from my videos and just keep like a select few items. And I was really in two minds about this cape because it was expensive, like really, really expensive. But I have to say this is definitely the most worn item in my wardrobe um, this autumn winter so far. And I am so, so happy I kept it because it's amazing. Like it just looks so chic. It's like a touch of elegance, but it's really casual and low key. So you don't feel like you're overdressed. You just feel like you're wearing a really chic jacket, but it's really understated. The color is just perfect. It goes with everything, like all of my neutral outfits it's just perfect for. I also love how it's really lightweight. So there's so much room to really like layer up and wear chunky knits underneath, um, but you're still really comfortable. Um, but where it's wool, it actually keeps you really, really warm. So you don't have to wear like a big bulky jacket and you feel very free in it as well. Oh my God, I just love it so much. I feel like this is the thing that I was missing in my wardrobe and now I just feel complete. Oh my God, it's just to die for. I really, really love it. It looks so cute with like skirts, dresses. Um, it also looks amazing with like jeans and trousers. It's just perfect. Like you honestly cannot fault this. I know it's simple and it feels like a lot of money for something that's not like incredibly glamorous or over the top, but it's a staple and it goes with everything. And I will wear this literally forever. This is just, my life. Whilst I have the cape on and whilst we're kind of talking about my autumn luxury essentials video, I'll show you the other things I kept from that video. So first is the coach tabby bag. Now I actually ended up returning this because even though I loved it, I was like, right, I'm going to buy it on Black Friday when it's discounted or I'll put it on my Christmas list because JJ and like my family never know what to buy me for Christmas. And then Coach actually emailed me saying, thank you so much for featuring it in the video. Could they gift me another bag to say thank you? And I was like, oh, I actually didn't keep the bag, but I really love it. So then they ended up sending it to me, which was so, so kind. And honestly, guys, I cannot believe the amount I have used this. This has been my go-to bag for autumn winter. And when I think about all like the gorgeous, gorgeous bags in my collection that I'm in love with, like my Chloe Tess, and my Chloe Drew and my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, like all of my favorite bags. And yet this has overtaken all of them this year. It's crazy. I think there's just something about the simplicity of the bag. It just looks so ultra chic. I love the color, the off-white literally goes with everything, which is probably why I'm just like wearing it every day because it's such an easy go-to. I just know it's gonna go with like whatever outfit I'm wearing that day. Um, it's also a really great size, like it's small and nice and petite, so you're not like carrying around a heavy bag all day, but there really is room for like everything I need. So yeah, this bag was a really big surprise. I think if I had bought it, it would have been worth every penny. And I really love how coach bags aren't like extortionately expensive, like they're still a luxury, you know, a designer brand, but they're not in the realms of like Gucci and Louis Vuitton and Chloe. They are much more reasonable and affordable, um, but they're just, as fabulous, clearly, because I'm wearing this every day over all of those other bags. Okay, I'm gonna show you um, a couple more pieces from Abercrombie, including a couple of jackets. I'm really sorry if you guys can hear fireworks. I'm actually filming this on the evening of Diwali. So happy Diwali, well, happy belated Diwali to any of my followers who were celebrating. So as you guys can see, I was really going for the cozy winter vibes when I picked out these pieces. Like I said before, Abercrombie really just cannot be beat when it comes to winter cozy. Okay, so the first one I will show you is this incredible oh, like off-white faux fur gilet. Oh my God, just look at me. I'm like a cozy winter bunny. It's amazing. It is the softest thing in the whole world. Like I just wish you guys could feel it. It's beautiful. I think they also did this in a brown, which I was quite tempted by because you guys know I do love a bit of brown in my wardrobe this time of year. Um, but there was just something about the white. It's just so kind of festive. It's so cute. I just love this look, like with a chunky knit, like a roll neck underneath. It's so cozy. You're obviously not as warm as you would be if you're wearing like a full on jacket, but sometimes you don't need to. Like at the moment, you know, the weather's like 12, 13 degrees, so it's cold 
but it's not freezing cold. This would look really cute with trousers. In fact, I might pop on my um, Zara trousers that you guys know I kept because I've been wearing them loads. I actually ended up keeping both pairs. And before you guys think that that's kind of excessive, um, I really do have like a lack of trousers that I really like in my wardrobe for winter. And obviously with the temperature, we kind of really, really need them. So when I found these and I just loved the way they fit, I thought I'd have to get both, especially as both colors were so amazing and like would go with everything in my wardrobe. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the whole white look and try these ones on for you. Oh, gee, it looks so cute with the trousers. I love like a white out look for winter and everything doesn't have to be white. I like mixing whites and creams and off whites. Although I do feel like we would need a pink bag or like a colored bag. I feel like the coach with this would be a little bit too much. So I'm thinking go pink with the bag, like with the pochette Matisse, have a little pop of color or keep it kind of neutral with the Chloe Tess. Um, yeah, I'm so loving this outfit. Um, I'm sorry, I can't really show you the trousers um, long, but they're literally just leggings. They're very comfortable. They have such a nice shape. Like they are ridiculously flattering. The way they like pull you in at the waist is actually amazing. And I've never tried on any bottoms that have done that before. Like, okay, so after the gilet, we have, oh my goodness, I am so excited to wear this. I haven't worn it yet because there hasn't been like one of those super chilly freezing cold winter days. We're just not there yet. We're getting there. Oh my God, it is getting colder. Is anyone else's lips super dry at the moment? Like I feel like I can't move them. They're so dry. I actually want to put some lip gloss on. So this is the classic Abercrombie mini puffer jacket. Um, I actually got this in a medium just to make sure that it was nice and roomy in case I'm layering like chunky knitwear underneath. I also think a little bit of an oversized um, look is cute when you're wearing a jacket like this. And they have this in loads of different colors and textures, but obviously I went for the white faux fur one because can you actually imagine anything cozier or cuter? I mean, oh my God, it's so soft. I just wish you could feel it. It's perfect for frosty winter walks. I'm actually feeling really nostalgic for all of those long winter walks I took in lockdown. Oh my gosh, I literally don't want to take it off. This makes me like want to get stranded on the top of a mountain, a snowy mountain because I just know that I would be fine with this. I'm literally a polar bear. Okay, whilst I've got my whole jumper and leggings combo on, um, I'll show you a couple more jackets. So first of all, it's not really a jacket, but it's my gorgeous blanket cape from Abercrombie. This was one of the things that I kept from haul week. Oh my gosh, I just love this. There is something so like glamour, glamour about this that I can't even cope. It's like the ultimate, luxurious slouch. It gives me a little old Hollywood, like a little wraparound shawl. Um, it gives me very like rich, expensive vibes. This is like my running errands, but looking absolutely fabulous and luxurious kind of look. I feel like this is also the perfect thing to wear on a plane, like traveling on a plane journey. I just think this is gonna be something I keep forever and I just always love. And I may not wear it constantly, like this is not gonna be my everyday outfit, um, but it's something that I'll wear, I think, for a long, long time, like many, many years, because it's classic, you know? I just love it. And then the other jacket to show you is this. Now this is from And Other Stories and this is one that I actually kept from haul week. So I did actually buy this one and I was really, really in two minds about buying this because I was like, I really do not need any more jackets and I don't, that's the truth. This was a little bit of a purchase that was unnecessary, like I'm not gonna lie, but I just couldn't let it go because it's literally my perfect color. And this color is actually really hard to find, like the palest, palest kind of warm nudish pink. I mean, guys, it's literally the color of my walls. Can you see that? It's practically the same color as my walls. Like this is my pink. And to find a jacket that I really like, that I do think I would wear, in my perfect color. I was just like, I have to keep it because I've started to really love wearing jackets like this in winter, just layering chunky knits underneath them. Um, and they're just really casual for just like popping out to the shops, like running errands when you kind of don't want to get dressed up. And one of my more glamorous jackets just would look too much. I love the texture. It's got this really interesting texture and it's just cute. I love the color. You know, you can just wear this for every day. And I am glad that I kept it because I think this is gonna be one of those things that I just get so much wear out of. I got one last year or two years ago, I think, a white one from And Other Stories and just have worn it to death. 
And this is actually better because that one doesn't have pockets and it always annoys me that it doesn't have pockets. Okay, I'm gonna take a small break from jackets and coats because there's still many more to show you um, and show you a few more clothes. So obviously I kept the brown Zara leggings as well, which I don't feel I need to show you because you kind of get the idea. Um, and I also have these new um, River Island jeans. These are their high rise skinny jeans in the off-white color. Um, and again, I'm not gonna try these on now because I hate trying on trousers when I'm filming because I get really hot. Um, but I really do urge you guys to go and watch my video from like two or three weeks back where I show you how I style like jeans and trousers in a really girly feminine way for winter um, and then you can see these jeans on um, and a couple of others but these were definitely my favorites from the video because they just again like color wise go with everything um, they're really comfortable like nice and high waist really stretchy like I hate the feeling of just like stiff jeans that you can't move in or they're too tight um, and these are amazing you just feel really comfortable in them and they're really flattering as well so definitely go and watch that video um, I'll link it down below I've also got a couple of things from and other stories they kindly invited me into store the other day um, to pick out a couple of new winter pieces which is very kind um, and I got these and one other thing um, and I might just try these on and then talk to you about them when I've got them on. So guys here is my cute new little outfit from and other stories I actually did a TikTok like in store in the dressing room trying loads of stuff on so guys please come and follow me on TikTok I really need the support because I'm trying to make an effort with the platform but I'm kind of not motivated because all my followers are on here and Instagram. So I really need you guys to come and join me over there as well. I'm gonna be doing a live stream soon as well, which is really exciting. That includes a discount that you will not want to miss. And that's all I'm gonna say. So come and follow me. It's at Freddie My Love with two E's. So anyway, there's so much to talk about. Um, I'll start with the shorts because they are just fabulous. As you can see, I feel like they look and feel like curtains. The fabric is so thick and structured, which is everything I love. I also just adore the colors and the pattern. It's a beautiful floral print in a mix of brown and dark brown. I mean, I can't actually think of anything more perfect. They're just so cool. I feel like they have a very high fashion look to them and they do not look high street at all. The quality is amazing. They have a really nice fit and a really nice structure, which is everything I'm always looking for in bottoms. They have that really nice tailored look. They also have pockets um, and you can wear these with a blouse like this if you want to dress them up or it would look so chic and so kind of 70s with a brown turtleneck. I mean, can you actually imagine? Anyway, I'm obsessed with them. I think they really stand out. They're very unique. This is the kind of thing that I usually find on Farfetch, not on the high street. Um, so these are definitely a must have. I am so glad I found them. And then the blouse was kind of, I'd say an unusual choice for me because it's quite formal and I don't really go for like blouses like this anymore because I just don't want to look like I'm working in an office. But I tried this on and as soon as I put it on, I was like, oh my God, this is perfection. I'll just get rid of my hair so you can see um, the fit on the blouse, like the way that it's cut around the body. It's just so flattering and feminine and elegant. Like, look at those beautiful sleeves and the fabric is so stunning. It's soft and delicate. It's just amazing. And then I looked at the price tag and I was like, oh my gosh, like it's really expensive, but then it kind of made sense because it really does feel superior and I had to get it. I was just like, this is a high quality, classic, timeless piece that I will have in my wardrobe forever because you always need a nice kind of formal, sensible blouse. Well, some would say that the giant bow wasn't sensible, but I would say that they were boring. So whilst I'm wearing this outfit and we're on the subject of blouses and like sensible, classic, timeless pieces to just have in your wardrobe, this is a very good time to show you the Zara blazer that I kept from Hall Week. As you can see, um, it does still have the tag in it. I haven't worn it yet, but I'm kind of not worried about it because I didn't buy it thinking, oh Lord. How rude that I can hear them, but I can't see them. I'm gonna have to wait till they stop. Continuing, um, I didn't really buy this blazer like thinking that I would wear it straight away or I'd wear it all the time. I just really loved it and I felt like I didn't have something like this in my wardrobe. It is very classic. Some would say that it was a wardrobe essential. I'm sure if you looked at like Vogue or Harper's Bazaar um, and said like five things every woman must have in her wardrobe, I'm sure this would be one. So I thought that I would keep it for future me to have something like smart and sensible and like professional and chic. It actually looks 
looks really good with this outfit, like with the bow of the blouse and the cool shorts. Like this is such a look. It's just super nice. I loved the color, the kind of like woolly tweed. It's very Chanel. It's got these really beautiful like gold embellished buttons that I just love. So it kind of has like the touch of glamour, but it's still subtle and understated. And yeah, I really love this. I'm glad I kept it. I feel like there's gonna come a day in my life where this is going to be perfect. And I'm gonna go, thank goodness I kept that blazer. I'm sure you guys knew that they were coming, but yes, I kept the Gucci boots from my autumn luxury must-haves video. Oh, I was kind of worried about keeping these because they were really expensive, like they're excessive, but I just looked at them and I thought they are me in a boot. And even Josie said, they are the most you boots I've ever seen. And I was like, it's true, I have to keep them. And guys, they have been worn a lot since then. As you can see, I've kind of like, scuffed them a little bit, but I'm trying not to get wound up over it because honestly, like clothes are for wearing and I try really hard not to get like precious or too devastated if things get marked um, because at the end of the day, they are for wearing. They're not for like sitting in a wardrobe looking pretty. And I have actually bought some suede cleaner, like a brush and a block and some treatment. So I am gonna do that. I just haven't had time yet, but they really are the best. I love them so much. They just bring me so much joy. They look amazing with everything. You can wear this with like a cute little dress and your knee high boots, it looks super chic. Or what I've been doing all the time is wearing like the River Island jeans or the Zara leggings and like tucking it into the boots. It's a very like equestrian look, which I love. And people also messaged me saying that I looked like I was in the cast of Hamilton, which I'm kind of okay with too. I don't feel like I need to try these on right now because they're gonna be all over my Instagram and also in my upcoming outfit videos. Um, but yes, they are incredible. And if anyone has any tips for cleaning them, please do let me know. I'll just mention this quickly um, because it was one of the things that I picked up on my And Other Stories shopping trip. Um, and it's not like super wow, but it's definitely worth mentioning because I feel like we all need something like this in our wardrobes. It's this really gorgeous cream fleece. Now guys, fleeces are my guilty pleasure. Like they are so not stylish. Like my mum laughs at me so much. She's like, oh my God, you and your fleeces. Honestly, what is it with you and a fleece? And honestly, I don't know because I mean, what can I say? It's not the most chic thing in the world, is it? I mean, it kind of is that like really slouchy off duty look if you get a nice one, which this is. I just feel like this is so luxurious. It's so soft and cozy. Oh my gosh, it's just heaven. I honestly live in my fleeces in the winter, like just around the house. I just love it. I feel like we all need a fleece in our lives, but we don't want to look too like slouchy or slobby or kind of unstylish. So we need like a luxurious fleece like this. So we still look kind of put together and expensive, but still like we're lounging, you know? Okay, so next I have a couple of dresses to show you. Um, one casual, two evening. So I will try on the casual one first, um, which is this brown jumper dress from Abercrombie. Oh my gosh, the fabric is so nice. It's so soft, so thick. Um, I was really torn on the color because they had this and also a dark brown. Um, and I really didn't know which one to get, but I was worried that the dark brown might be too dark and look like black. And I'm really happy with this choice because this color is perfect for my wardrobe. Here is the dress on. It's so divine. I just feel like Abercrombie clothes, they just fit so well. Like they're designed to actually flatter you. And I feel like something like a jumper dress can just feel like a big old bag and can be very unflattering and too casual, too slouchy and not have a nice sophisticated fit that actually looks good on your body. Um, and that's what I love about this dress because it's super duper comfortable, but I still feel good and flattered in it. And I just think this is the perfect thing to wear on like a super, super casual occasion. Like this weekend, for example, uh, me and my family are going to stay with my granny. We're having family and family friends pop in over the weekend and you kind of want to look nice but it's not like a dressed up occasion like we're just at home I was just stood like this and kind of thinking it would look good with a belt should we try okay this is actually the only belt that I own um so don't judge me if it doesn't go although it kind of does go I think it does look quite cute with the belt it makes it look a little bit more dressed up and put together and less slouchy. I actually think it looks really nice with the belts. And let's be honest, you can never go wrong with pink and brown, can you? The reason I wanted to get this dress is because I have worn my burgundy Abercrombie like sweater dress from last year to absolute death. It's become like a running joke. It's like practically the only thing I wear when it starts to get really cold. Um, so I just kind of wanted to have another version so I wasn't wearing the same old thing every day. Okay guys, this is one of the evening dresses I was telling you about and I'm very like excited by this dress because 
it feels like a little bit different for me. I actually wore this out this week. I wore it to this Montclair event at Selfridges and then the GHD Christmas party. And I wore it with my brown over the knee boots to keep warm and I felt very, very chic. So the dress is actually from Guess. It's Marciano at Guess. And again, kind of like and other stories, Guess actually invited me into store to pick out a look and I chose this dress. I just loved the color and that silky, like sexy satin. I just thought, wow, it's so pretty. It's really flattering, like the shape that it gives me. I love the details, like the shape of it, the little frill hem, the gorgeous sleeves. It also has a really nice like gold button detail on the shoulder. And yeah, I kind of realized that I didn't have any like very autumn winter evening wear. And then to go with the dress, I also picked out this really fabulous faux fur jacket, also from Marciano at Guess. This is so luxurious, I can't even put it into words. It's amazing. I love the color. It's this like natural brown fur type color. Obviously it's faux, um, but I feel like it also kind of has blush tones in it, which is so perfect. They also had one that was like a greenish brown, but obviously um, I loved this color. And I really like how this jacket is very much day to night. Like you can dress this down with like your jeans and boots, um, but it's also the perfect, perfect evening jacket as well. I kind of wore it like on the shoulder to my events rather than actually wearing it as a jacket. It's so, so gorgeous. And I felt very cool, guys. I felt like a little variation on Freddy in this guest look. So now I'm going to try on the last dress for you guys before we move on to the last of the jackets because I know you guys have had your eye on this and this the whole video. <laughs> so guys, we are definitely finishing um, with a bang. This dress has to be, I think maybe one of my all time favorite pieces in my wardrobe. It's so beautiful and the way that it fits and like feels can't be put into words, it's just amazing. This is a dress by a designer that I found on Instagram, quite a new like independent designer. I will link their Instagram and their website down below. They're called Havana um, London. And a few weeks ago, I was actually invited to the London Film Festival for the premiere of Spencer, which is the new Diana film with Kristen Stewart as Diana. And I just thought this dress was the perfect perfect dress. It's the most beautiful, beautiful satin fabric in ivory and I felt like it looked very bridal and for some reason we kind of associate bridal with Princess Diana. It's also got what I would say some really subtle like sort of 80s details and obviously we kind of associate Princess Diana with the 1980s and her really lovely style. There was just something about these beautiful sleeves with like the gathered ruched fabric and the buttons and the kind of shoulder line that did give me quite an 80s bridal look and I just felt so perfect in this dress. You know when you just feel amazing, like confident. I loved what I was wearing. I felt just amazing in it and I had such a lovely night. And now this dress has just gorgeous memories attached to it as well. Okay, so now we're at the end of the video. It's time to talk about the two elephants in the room. Very glamorous, beautiful elephants. As you can see, I have two new Santini coats. Santini actually had a pop-up in this gorgeous little hotel in Marlborough a few weekends back. So I went and they kindly let me choose a couple of pieces. So the first one I got is from their new collection. Well, they're both actually from the new collection. And this is kind of a little bit of an adaptation of my gorgeous Gone With The Wind cape, um, except it's a little bit longer um, and it's got some beautiful new add-ons like these incredible, embellished buttons. They are so stunning. So this is the Camello color, um, which is supposed to be kind of like a beigey camel, but I do think it's very pinky toned. For me, it's the perfect, perfect color. Also guys, just look at the beautiful champagne gold satin lining and also the gold ornate poppers. It's like literally down to every detail. Oh my gosh, it's just so lovely. I always do like a little internal squeal whenever I put one of my Santini coats on because they are just a touch of glamour, like old Hollywood glamour that we just do not get nowadays. And they just make you feel like a film star. And we all need a little bit of that in our lives. If you ask me, this is just to die for. I love how it's a little bit longer than my cape because although I do love my cape coat, um, sometimes, you know, in like the dead of winter, you do need something a little bit longer to cover you up and keep you nice and warm. And look at the collar, the collar is to die for. And just the sleeves, the cuffs, the buttons, every detail. It's just so beautiful. And I feel like this coat is, 
Like, although it's dressed up and it's over the top and it's glamorous, I still feel like it is wearable for every day and you could have this as your everyday coat. So now let's try on this one. This is also new season. As you can see, this is very similar again to one that I already have, but this has a kind of new little addition, which is the hood. Now guys, I was thinking maybe I shouldn't go for a coat that's so similar to one that I already have. Is it a waste? But I could not resist the idea of this hood. This hood literally makes you look like a Russian princess. I feel like Anastasia. I just can't right now. Have you ever seen anything so gorgeous in your life? And you can actually detach the fur, the faux fur, if it's raining because this isn't really waterproof. The rest of the coat should do okay in light rain. Obviously you don't want to wear this out if it's pouring down with rain. This coat is honestly my dream come true. Like it's so cozy. I just love the look. I feel like a winter princess. To be honest, I'm just in awe of everything this brand does. Like they can do no wrong in my eyes. I just think every single coat just gets better and better and better and I cannot wait to wear this out. So guys, that is it for today's video. I honestly can't believe how long that went on for. I really didn't realize how many new pieces I had in my wardrobe. I thought it was gonna be like a 20 minute video. So thank you so much if you watched to the end. Don't forget, I will link everything I showed you down below in the description box. And there's also a 15% off code for you guys to use at Abercrombie. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all next week. Week. Bye!